Your handwriting is beautiful now, isn't it? You know, one thing that I've noticed on retention that I really think is underappreciated is my handwriting. It's really become beautiful and everything just flows on the paper. I don't have to try very hard and, and I rarely write. You know, this isn't school anymore. I usually just type on my computer. So handwriting is something that I rarely do. And yet, somehow, my handwriting is just coming out perfect. In this video, I want to talk about three scientific concepts that may explain why handwriting improves when you're doing semen retention. Let's get into it. The first reason, I believe, is because of dopamine. Now, we all know about dopamine. There's all sorts of videos about dopamine. But what you didn't know is that there's actually diseases that correlate with dopamine levels. And there's examples like schizophrenia and Parkinson's. And in these diseases, the dopamine levels are very low. And what happens is the handwriting becomes very poor because the fine motor control is lost and everything becomes messy on the paper. So how this relates to semen retention is because studies have shown, and I've talked about this in previous videos, that when you start doing something like NoFap, so NoFap is the precursor to semen retention, your dopamine levels increase. And that's because of a decrease in this inhibitory hormone called prolactin. So what happens is that if you retain it for a long period of time, your prolactin levels are going to decrease. And as your prolactin decreases, your dopamine is going to increase over a longer period of time. And it's going to stay high for a longer period of time. And that's going to affect your fine motor control. So no wonder your handwriting is going to become more beautiful. You're just going to be in better control because your neurons, your neurochemistry is influencing your handwriting. And I've got studies in the description. So that's reason number one. And also related to this is the fact that Studies have shown that if you've got uh, these diseases that affect uh, the neurochemistry, you'll actually be struggling to control your movement because you're trying to control your movement. Whereas if you haven't got these diseases, you don't have to control your movement, it's automatic. So it's an automatic execution of fine motor control. So that's another reason why you begin to have better handwriting and retention. You're better able to automatically execute your handwriting and that's also why I believe your speech is better it's just flowing you're not struggling to get the words out it's just automatic execution of fine motor control so yeah reason number one reason number two is actually pretty interesting and I saw a study about this that showed that your personality actually affects your handwriting so what this means is that if you're someone who is impulsive, then it's going to show up in your handwriting. Or if you're someone who's patient and in control, it's going to show up in your handwriting. And what this means is, in terms of retention is that you will notice on retention, your personality switches from someone who's impulsive to someone who's better in control of their emotions and their daily habits. And this is going to translate directly into your handwriting. You're going to notice that your handwriting is smoother, you're better able to draw those kind of spherical characters and it's not gonna it's gonna it's not gonna be as choppy as it used to be all those sharp as they call doctor's handwriting it's not gonna be present anymore so it's no surprise that yes your personality changes on scene retention and this begins to reflect in your handwriting so that's reason number two reason number three is your emotional state your day-to-day -day emotional state changes. And there's actually a, a sort of scientific, semi-scientific practice called graphology, which tracks people's emotional states by studying their handwriting. And I've linked a study in the description below, but it showed that people who had certain emotional states when they're feeling anxious, they were just more rushed with their handwriting Whereas when they are calm and steady, they took the time to make those shapes, especially the round shapes of the, and letters. So when you're seeing retention, a very common thing that people report is that they're gonna be less anxious 
So if you're less anxious your day to day, your emotional state is calm. And so you have more time and more presence to just take your time when you're writing these. So you're just gonna get a better quality of handwriting. Over. So now you understand and now you know why your handwriting is beautiful on semen retention. And I hope this video inspired you to keep on retaining and keep on writing beautiful posts, whatever it is. Anyway, with that said, guys, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.